what's going on everyone, FM Journeyman here, and welcome back to Western Not So Super Mayor. Today's episode, it's all about the youth intake. Yep, probably one of the most exciting times of the year for any football manager in Football Manager 2017 or any football manager game, be honest with you. Hopefully to get that uh, that superstar coming from the youth ranks for your charge, stuff like that. It's a really exciting time of the year. So let's go ahead, without further ado, let's take a look at the team. And on first impression, it doesn't look very good, does it? No, it doesn't indeed. Everyone lost, it looks really, really, really substandard. There's not a single player in the team right now that's ready to play first team football. And potentially, the best we got is going to be a two and a half star. And it's very unlikely, if you look at the determination ratings, that these players will make it. But let's take a look anyway at the highest potential players and let's make some early decisions on who we might want to keep. So first up is Richard Dufus or Duffus, however you want to pronounce that. It doesn't really matter. He doesn't look very good. Um, acceleration is uh, okay. Strength not really there. Headings so-so. Tackling so-so. Markings a five. Positioning nine. He's, he's got some ability as a center half, but I don't really think he's getting that much of an impact player in the future. We'll give him a we'll give him a youth contract anyway. It can't hurt. Uh, then we have Addy Shepherd. Not much really. Fitness is really good. That's good. He gets up and down the foot the flank pretty nicely. Crossing's only a two. That's not much good to me. Concentration dissipation isn't very good. Positioning is only a six. That's pretty terrible. Tackling and marking is also abysmal. So he's not a very good prospect. Uh, then we have Curtis Phillip, another centre half. Take a look at him real quick. Concentration is only a four. Determination is a four. He's a casual player, which means he's not going to be that determined to get that much better. Work rate's nine, which is pretty good. Um, pace, he's got a bit pacey. Um, 5'11, not very strong. Jumping reach is pretty okay for that. Heading's only a four. Tackling's only a six. And again, not really exciting at all, is it? Uh, then we have Saul Davis. He's got some nice attributes. His flair is good. Teamwork is good. Technique is a 10. So he could be a decent playmaker. Work rate and teamwork is both there. Enthusiastic attacking midfield. He's fairly professional. Terminations are 7. I maybe can link him up with one of the more experienced players. Maybe get that up. Um, finishing is only a 4. It's not ideal. I like to have an attacking midfielder with a bit of finishing ability. Um, yeah, let's give him a deal. Again, I don't really think I make much of an impact, but we'll have to see there. Uh, then we have Daniel Hapgood. Doesn't really fit into my system or style of play. He isn't very good anyway, so he's not going to get a deal. Uh, Robbie Martin. Nothing to write home about there. Teamwork and work rate are good. He's a professional, but I don't really think he'll have that much of an impact. A striker. Not really seen a lot of hit, a lot of ability there. Uh, then we have Ben Ford. He's got a little bit better ability. Physical case, physically, he's almost there. Uh, fitness is pretty good. Uh, pace is good too. He can cross a tiny bit with the ball. Not fantastic. Um, he's got some eights and eights and like sixes and sevens in the mental department, which means he could get a little bit better in the future. We'll give him a deal. He is 16 years old. Um, so I don't know how much better he's really going to get. Uh, according to my assistant manager, he's got a low rating for the senior team. He's unlikely to really ever play uh, Van Arama National Football. Um, Stuart Roberts. No, no thank you. Um, Ollie Barnett. He can finish. That's good for a striker. But he doesn't really offer much else, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's not getting a deal. Um, Tyler Smith. No, no thank you. Doesn't really show anything there. Uh, Dominic Cornick. Let's see where he is. He's a midfielder. Uh, Cornick is a ball in midfielder. He's only got a tackling rate in a four, a mark in a three. He looks a bit more like a playmaker, to be honest, like a deep line playmaker. Uh, flair, leadership, teamwork, and work rates there. Mental abilities. Mental is pretty good. Physical is terrible, though, and technical is best as a free kick taken at eight. So, yeah, not a very talented player. Um, Martin Marshall, goalkeeper, first goalkeeper. Uh, let's take a look. Handling's okay. Eccentric is two. Reflex is rushing out. Tendency is good. Um, distance 12. Anticipation 5. Agility 5. Not much. Vision's, uh, vision's terrible. One. Jeez. He's blind as a bat. Um, yeah. Uh, let's give him a deal. It could be the third choice goalkeeper. Kind of uh, in case of an emergency we can play him. Uh, then we have Leon Morgan. Those have got to be the worst technical attributes I've ever seen. Um, heading one, low, long shots one, long throws one, marking one, passing one, tackling one, penalty taking one, technique two. Oh, that's, 
that something. Crossing's free for is has got to be the worst regen I think I've ever had. On the plus hand, he's very determined, so I'll give him that. Um, but apart from that, that's that's a, that's shocking. This is. I think I might have to hire a new uh, head of youth development. Is this the kind of talent he's unearthing? Um, pace 12, acceleration is a little bit better, but it doesn't fit my role or style or tactic. Uh, John Carey, apart from the name, he's got nothing else going for him. Uh, nope, he's not very good either. And Cameron Dunford, last but not least. Nope. No, no, not very good, is he? Well, there you have it. So basically, there's about four players that I, I might take on. Um, I've offered them youth contracts, but the rest, honestly, they're pretty bad. They're pretty abysmal. So that's it's very that's very, very disappointing. I was hoping to get at least uh, one or two players that might be able to make a first impact, if not this season, uh, next season or the season after. But I don't think any of these players are going to make any sort of impact or meaningful in any senior level, let alone the Van Rama National League. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Obviously, I'm very disappointed in the youth intake we got. I don't think there's a lot there. Um, again, the next episode will be up against Gateshead away in just a few games time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, remember to drop a like. If you want to see more videos by myself, hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.